Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'll be your host Zykreon and today we finish our preparation before we go to Dungeon 2. So we have another game we can play here which is the treasure chest game. Uh, for 30 rupees we can go in and choose two treasure chests to open. And just like the digging game there is a heart container that is within here. And also, I'm going to just show you the first time, and then when I actually get the heart piece. So, we get a bomb, and a bomb. Okay, well, next time, we'll get the heart container. Yay! I found a piece of heart. Awesome. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go see if we can't put the new glove to you. Uh, that did not nearly take me as long as the digging game did. It took me probably about three minutes as opposed to the 13 last time. So, that's definitely good. Alright. Oh, well, look at this. We got a frog. Let's see what this frog is uh, going to do. Alright, your partner, huh? Oh, uh, yes, I never showed you guys this in the light world. Um, there's actually a smithy shop over on the right edge of town. But, uh, you know, th now is now's just as good a time as any to show you. So if we just go over here and we use our mirror to go back to the light world. Oh, my God, he's a dwarf. All right. Well, let's go uh, escort him back to his partner. Happy days are here again, yay! Ooh, you'll temper my sword! Well, I can't say no to that. Alright, so if we leave, go back in. They're both happy at work. And for just 10 rupees, they will upgrade our sword. Uh, you have to keep it for a while. Alright, well, in that case, let's, uh... Let's go do something else. Let's go back to the, uh... Dark world here from America. All right. Well, now that we're in the dark world, let's uh let, let's put all these pegs down. You know, let's waste some time. Why not? It's a good it's a good time killer. You know, we're waiting for our sword to get tempered. Oop! Did not mean to kill you, dead chicken thing zombie. I want to eat your brains. Ooh. If we hit all those, a secret passage opens. Ooh, another piece of heart. Ah, and that is our fourth piece of heart again. So I believe that's number 12, so we've gotten three. All right. Well, let's see if, uh, see if our sword is ready for us. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Yes! Our sword is now red and stronger than ever. This is our level 3 sword. Alright, well. While we're here in town, let's, uh... Let's go see if we can't find a new transportation method. So. If you remember in last video, we got a flute from the very tragic ending of the flute player in the Magic Grove. Well, let's, uh, let's go see what happens if we play it at the Weather Vane. <clears throat> oh my god, there was a bird in there! That's awesome! And now, every time we play our flute, our little bird friend here will take us to where we want to go. <clears throat> well, he'll take us to the overworld map, and there are eight points where we can go. Just use your direction pad, choose which number you want to go to. I want to go to number two, and, you know, we have this mushroom, so let's give it to the witch. Smell of rotten fruit. Finish my brew. All right, come back later. All right. Well, let's go in now. Like I said, there's the red, the green, and the blue. So I'm going to buy some uh, some red potions, just in case we need it. Fill up two of my bottles with that. <clears throat> Excellent. And uh, while we're waiting, let's go 
Let's go to Death Mountain. Uh, there's something that we can get there now, so... I'll just teleport there. Instead of you guys having to watch. And if we go over to the right here... There's this, like, monument slash tomb. And we need our Book of Mudora. We'll, uh... I'll let the master get the magic of ether. Or ether. Awesome! Sweet! And this is our first magic. That's awesome. Alright. Well, let's go back to uh, the potion shop. That was easy. Let's see if she finished it. She did. We now have the magic powder. Alright. Well, now that we have the magic powder, let's put it to use. Let's see what we can do with it. Hey, what's up, Jelly Dog? Haha, -ha, you are now a different color. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's, um. Let's talk to her because uh, she'll actually give us a taste of the red. And with that, that'll fill our hearts. Awesome. Alright, well, let's head back to the town. Because there's, uh. Something we can do now that we have the. The magic powder. So, number three, head over to the smithy area. Charge! Ow! You bastard! How dare you! Alright. And if we go up here and take out our hammer. Hammer, there we go. Knock that down, fall in here. Always fallen, cheese link. All right, and if we go up, hmm, this looks weird. Oh, what the hell? Let's use some magic powder on it. That'll be fun. <clears throat> oh my God, it's a bat! It's Edward Cullen. Oh God, not Twilight. All right, you're gonna curse me? I don't want you to curse me. Son of a bitch. No! No, this is actually fine, folks. This means now all of our magic, it'll only take half the amount of magic that it normally would when we cast things. So, when we cast Ether, either, it will be uh, less magic and when we use our magic lamp. So, awesome. Okay. So, I think everyone knows in The Legend of Zelda, we can harass chickens. So, uh, let's see what happens if we harass the chicken. Will the colonel get mad at us and, you know, cook us, fry us for dinner? Let's find out. Oh, magic does doesn't do anything to the chicken. Hmm, let's, uh, let's... Ah, come on! Oh my god! Hits the birds! Why? Why do you hate me? Alright, so, um, I think what we learned here, folks, is... Do not piss off the chicken. They will retaliate. They are a vicious beast. All right. Well, now what I want to do is I want to go back to the dark world um, in the town. And uh, we can do that with a shortcut now that we have the new gloves. All right. Let's just go through here. And we can go through the shortcut again. Excellent. And uh, I want to go back to the smithy shop for one more thing. Now that we have given him back his partner, there's something special there now. So let's uh, let's go see what he's left for us. All right, just have to lift this up. And yes, the same thing that happened to the chicken will happen to these zombie chickens as well. Oh, look at that! A treasure chest. Oh. But I can't open it because it's locked from the inside. Well, I think we remember about a thief back in uh, the Light World. So I'm going to take it to him now. And I will meet you guys there. All right. So we're going to take this to the thief. And um, the chest is just following you. It's a good little boy. He's a very faithful chest. And uh, let's go talk to him.
Yeah, I knew you were a thief. Someone told me. Oh, sweet. You'll open the chest for me. As long as I don't tell anyone. Sure. I won't tell anyone. Ah, and now we get the last magic bottle. So now we have all of our four bottles. And next time, we will take on Dungeon 2 and see if Link can rescue the second maiden. But until then, this is Zykreon saying adieu and thank you for watching.